What is going on everybody, Weedle Tweedle here, and we are back with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and this one's going to be against Trey with two Ys. Now looking at our team, uh, <laughs> I just can't catch a break, can I? She has Tapu Balance and Faramosa, and she has Mithil Lego, she has Azuma, Celesteel, and Solomons, and I'm using Ariados Caracosta. Silvly, Mega Glalie, Lycanroc, and Comfy. I'm a little bit um outmatched, I would think, but like always, I'm going to give it my best shot because uh, it's just ugh. this team, like just looking at team period, just gave me like a bad feeling in my stomach. I'm like, ugh. like how how is this fun, people? But I don't know. I play my own way. People play the, their own way, so I can't really judge them for it. So we're facing Trey with two Ys. So um, I'm going to lead off with my area dose as she is going to be leading off with her Faramosa. And um, I'm just trying to get up sticky web ASAP so I can actually outspeed this Faramosa because Faramosa just outspeeds everything. But um, she's going to decide to go for U-turn turn 1 and uh, do half health to my area dose when I do resist the attack because that is... How balanced Faramosa actually is, as now she's just gonna U-turn out into her Celesteela, knowing that Ariados cannot touch Celesteela whatsoever. So, gonna go straight for the Sticky Web onto the Celesteela, and uh, now that since Sticky Web is up, I can finally, you know, slow down the Faramosa and top of Lele significantly. So, I'm not gonna sack off my, um, my Ariados yet, because if I do, I'm not gonna be able to touch this freaking Celesteela, because Celesteela is so bulky, if it gets a beast mood spot, it just does not die. So, I'm gonna bring in Karakosta here, and Karakosta is pretty much my only shot of actually significantly damaging this, uh, Celesteel, because Celesteel is just such a bulky tank, and I have no electric type attacks on this team, or fire, besides, uh, I don't even think I have any fire type attacks on this team, honestly, so <laughs> I'm gonna suck with Karakosta, as, uh, the Celesteel is actually gonna go for the lead seed here. As uh, at least none of them have a plus two a special attack, I can actually just chunk him with the Hydro Pump on the following turn. Assuming I don't miss, so I'm hoping I can actually connect this Hydro Pump to gauge damage as luck f luck I I almost said luck flee. It's currently um 2.45 in the morning while narrating this. I figured I'd just add that detail in because you know this isn't a video of mine unless I narrate it in the middle of the night. So um Silasteel is gonna get some leftovers here as uh, Karagosta. It's looking pretty strong. I'm hoping that I can just uh, do a KO with that. Sorry if you just heard my phone go off there. But, um, yeah, gonna get leech seated. And, um, I kind of figured out, I'm like, you know, I kind of need Karakosa to win this game. So I'm actually going to save it. Even if that looks like a bad play, you'll see why later in the game. So I'm gonna bring in my Glalie here, because he has yet to get a beast boost off. So I'm pretty confident that my return will knock out the Celesteel from this range of health. I'm kind of hoping that's the case, but I'm not too sure. I'm actually going to just Mega Evolve with Glalie. I do carry Explosion on this set like you've seen because Mega Glalie with Explosion is fun. It just one-shots everything. I love it. So I'm um, going to go for the return onto the Celesteel and hope it can just knock him out. But uh, unfortunately it lives as he's just going to hit me with the Heavy Slam and that is going to hurt a lot. But it doesn't actually do all that much, honestly. I thought it would do a lot more, but I guess... Uh, Medically, is like fat and needs to lose weight, and Celesteel is just not that fat. It's not that much fatter than Glalie is, which really shows how thick Glalie truly is. So, I'm gonna go for the return onto the Celesteela and knock out this freaking monster. So, now I can actually hurt stuff on his team, or on her team, which is pretty nice. So, in comes Azumarill, and I'm like, oh god, I'm having some X and Y flashbacks right now of Belgium Azumarill 6018. So, I'm hoping this isn't a repeat like it was in. X and Y. So, gonna bring in my Ariados here, as he's just gonna go straight for the waterfall, and my Ariados is going to die. But, um, I got the sticky webs off, so I really could care less. So, I'm gonna bring in Lycanroc here, and I'm really hoping that, uh, she gets kind of greeting us for the uh, belly drum, so I can just get up my stealth rocks up for free, because I do a focus as regardless, so I can tank any attack she wants to go for. But I figured she'd just go for the belly drum, and, um, she actually has, a uh, Z belly drum. Because, uh, I guess she just thinks the belly jam is better than belly jam and citrus. I don't know, I guess it's personal preference, but I guess belly jam and citrus gives you more health in the long run. Like, uh, I guess because he didn't have a perfect HP stat, she just decided to give it the freaking normally on Z instead of the citrus berry. I can respect that. But, um, unfortunately for her, 
her setup is not going to matter at all, because I do have a focus sash, and I do have counters, so goodbye, Azumarill. Like, goodbye. Goodbye. So, um, Azumarill does go die like that. Probably killed so many Azumarills after that belly jump. Its in comes is Salamence, and I'm like, please don't be Mega Salamence. Why would people use Mega Salamence? That thing is banned. Why would you ever use Mega Salamence? Don't be ridiculous. Mega Salamence is banned. <sighs> <laughs> why, why am I even surprised? So, the legit Mega Salamence, legit shiny Mega Salamence, sorry, is just gonna go for the return and knock out my Lycan Rocks. So, um, now I have to deal with this Mega Salamence. I mean, thankfully, I did get Stealth Rocks up for the Salamence, but, um, yeah, it's slightly frustrating that I have to deal with this thing. So, I'm just gonna bring in my floor here, my, uh, comfy as uh, she's gonna choose to pivot out into her top of the uh, tank the draining kiss as uh, she's just gonna get caught in this sticky web here thankfully as I do believe uh, gonna get you know, caught with the hazard swell so much freaking terrain effects oh my gosh just so <laughs> annoying I actually do predict the switch on the top of Lele and I'm gonna bring a make Lele I was trying to say that but the stupid entry hazards cut inconveniencing me i'm sorry i'm kind of impatient because it's like i said almost three in the morning and i need to sleep because i gotta work at nine in the morning but i'm doing this because i love you so i'm sorry if my narration's a little bit wonky all right i mean all my narrations are wonky so what am i even saying so in comes elements here and uh i am jelly but mega Salamence does outspeed me and i'm pretty much forced to sack off my glaily here i do want to save it but i mean what can I switch in the Mega Salamence? I mean, it's like, she, I mean, she has a full team of not being able to switch in just freaking Tapu Lele, Fairmosa, and freaking Mega Salamence. Like, what the? F anyway, um, she's gonna go for the return, praying to God that Silva could somehow face tank, as thankfully, the base 95 and all around its stats does help it tank some attacks. So, I'm able to get the Z parting shot off here, which will restore all of the health. And on my team blah so I'm gonna go for Z parting shot woohoo with a bunch of question marks like clickbait title and I'm um, gonna get the minus attack and special attack and I'm gonna parting shot out and I'm gonna bring back in carry coast and hope that carry coast can do it and put it into win so I'm gonna get the healing wish or actually not healing wish but it looks like healing wish kind of and I'm gonna get all my health back and here um, um, she's gonna go for the Earthquake here, which I'm gonna be able to face tank because of the minus one, and I do have Sturdy anyway, but, um, yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and she gets a crit, which doesn't really matter because I have Sturdy. Um, here, I decide to actually go, um, oh, sorry, my bad, I get the Weakness Fallacy here, yeah, because she went for Earthquake, so I get Weakness Fallacy, which is always handy, and I'm able to knock out the mess with the Ice Beam. I could have Shell Smashed and actually swept her team, I'm pretty sure, because all she has left is Faramosa and Tapu Lele, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah, um, actually, no, she doesn't have top of my bet, she has Nail Lego, sorry, I forgot. So, um, I could have shell smashed, and then just won the game, but there's no fun in that. I wanted to use my uh, last Pokemon, so I wanted to keep going, so I didn't decide to shell smash, even though I could have easily shell smashed and won the game. I don't think Scarf Aramosa, um, outspeeds me if it is Scarf Aramosa. No, it was Life Orb, so it doesn't outspeed me. Um, actually, it probably does, because Scarf is freaking balance. Even with Stakey, but I wouldn't be surprised if it outsped plus two Karakos, but I really would not be surprised. It's just... Uh, balanced Pokemon. So I'm um, gonna bring in my Silver again, and um, here I'm just gonna go for the explosion because I literally just wanted to use explosion. That's why I did not sweep with my freaking Caracosta. <laughs> just wanted to use double explosion as we're going to. The Nidalego Lego is going to live with like negative health, but whatever. Down goes my Silver and my last is my Comfy, and this is gonna be the Comfy cleanup, ladies and gentlemen, because all she has left is this thing and Faramosa. So I do have a Hidden Power Ground, um, thankfully, which actually comes into play here because, you know, this thing's quad weak to HP ground. So um, this thing was actually not really a big threat because Comfy would actually beat it 1v1 because of HP ground, which is kind of hilarious. But I mean, I didn't really get to use it when it was at high health anyway. So whatever. In comes Faramosa, as unfortunately Faramosa is just going to fall to this draining kiss, which is priority because priority draining kiss is cool because comfy gets it so i'm gonna go for the draining kiss so go, mm -hmm, and get all of my health back and down goes the fairy muscle so thankfully that thing goes down and i win the game which is comfy so i somehow managed to win this game i don't know how i did it's honestly a mystery to me but i managed to do it so i mean 
whatever. But that's gonna be the battle, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, likes and comments are cherished as always. And the question of the day is going to be, if you can make any move in the game into a TM, what move would you choose and why? And I would probably choose uh, Dragon Dance because Dragon Dance is a cool move and more Pokemon should get it. Because I want more freaking sweepers, that's all we need. And more stuff for Pukamook would just psych up. But that's gonna be the battle, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll check you guys in my next video. Alright? Peace.